Hey guys, it's Epic Gaming Boy here. Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be reviewing Paper Mario Color Splash. And what do I say about Paper Mario Color Splash? Because I got this game last Monday. So, yeah, so I'm going to tell you my thoughts about this game. Well, so Color Splash is a really good game, in my opinion. Uh, people say Color Splash is good. And since Sticker Star was a big disappointment, that I might review Sticker Star, but yeah. Sticker Star was a big disappointment of the Paper Mario series, so. So, I was playing Paper Mario Color Splash, and I was enjoying it. So, guys, I'm going to explain to you. So, the story is, well, Mario gets a letter from somebody when Princess Peach and Toad come in his house. And then, Mario read the letter, and then there was a paintless Toad, and then Mario had to head to a place called Port Prisma. Then, at Port Prisma, he found a paint can named Huey, and Huey is a really fun character to, to read with. I really like Huey. I don't know who's my favorite character in it. Here it has to be Mario or Huey. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of like Mario, but maybe everyone's favorite character is Huey, I guess. So, I mean, Huey is really better than Kirsty from Sticker Star, so... Uh, what else can I say? Okay, so, Huey is sad because all the big paint stars are missing. Because, you know, you have to find them. And then, this game has the exact same style as Sticker Star, but not really. You know, when you try to go into a level, you... It's like from Sticker Star, but it's much better. This game had... This game just looks so beautiful, and I just like the way it looks. And while I may not like the battle system that much, you know, the card battle system, it's still really better than Sticker Star, because Sticker Star's battle system was abysmal. I mean, it really was abysmal. I despised it. I despised Sticker Star. It was so boring. This is not about Sticker Star. Now, let's get on with the bosses. The bosses are the Koopalings, which I already fought the first boss, which was Morton Koopa. Morton Koopa, I guess. Um, yeah, so the bosses are all the Koopalings, and that's kind of weird. And I'm not going to spoil you of the final boss because, you know, I don't want to spoil you guys. I haven't even, guys, promised me, I have not beaten the game. I just spoiled myself, so I'm not going to spoil it for you guys at the final boss. So, we actually found out that Black, that, okay, this sounds racist. But Bowser still, uh, the red, the uh, big paint stars, which caused them to be scattered. Then Mario has to find them, and Huey has to help Mario. So, for some reason, Black Bowser is controlled with black paint. So, now he's called Black Bowser? What? Well, I don't know why they call- Okay, I guess, what, was Nintendo racist? No, I'm not, I'm not, just kidding. Nintendo's not racist. Alright, so, the gameplay is good. Okay, actually. And the, and the levels are pretty fun. And, and from battles, you can actually get prizes from that. It's coins, and you get, you get to fill up your paint meter. And then Mario actually gets this new thing called the paint hammer. The paint hammer allows you to uh, fill up colorless spots on each level. Yeah, so it's, it's for, you know, yeah, the paint hammer is awesome. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think about my favorite Paper Mario game, but I don't know. I beat Paper Mario's house in your door. And, yeah, those games are great. So, what else can I say about this game? There's not really much to say about this game. You can actually, you know, if you can use the paint hammer to save toads. If the toads are, like, colorless, I guess. And then there's actually shy guys who are so thirsty that they drink the colors, and I don't know why. That doesn't really taste so good, but it probably tastes like, no, I'm being ridiculous here, but but there's not really much to say about this game. I just really enjoy it. Oh, actually, there's another thing to say. Um, Sticker Star has the new ability. You know, you, you know when Sticker Star had... I, f I forgot what it was. When you pushed Y, and then you had to do something. And then in, in Color Splash, there was a cutout 
and buy the cutout thingy. We have to cut out things, and then you have to go over there to help you cross that. So, so what can I say about this game? This game does not have, not have really much to talk about. I really enjoy this game. Let's go see. What rating would I give it? I probably would give this game a rating and not a... Maybe I would give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I give this game a 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you like this review. Bye! Peace out.